What are you guys drinking right now? Are you drinking maybe wine? Are you drinking a whiskey? Let me know in the comments section. So I'm drinking a San Francisco IPA from Anchor Brewing. And if you guys like good IPAs, I promise you this is a really good one. If you like fruity IPAs, if you're thinking about drinking a nice beer on the beach, San Francisco from Anchor Brewing is a really, really good beer. Let me know what you guys are drinking because like the way that I do the show, I want to have fun. Okay, and guess what? I like to drink. All right, let's go to another question here on YouTube. Winston, how many points a game do you expect our offense to average? Well, the Raiders, I believe, averaged 18.4 points per game last year. And I think the seat, like normal, the average is around like 24, 25. So how about that? 24, 25 points per game. Because John Gruden's not going to be that type of coach who's going to try to put up 30. He's still going to run the football. He's still going to try to rely on that defense a little bit. So I'll go 24. Okay? What do you guys think? Throw it in the comment section. Eldon, a.k.a. Turtle. Yo, Mitch, do you think the offense and defense will be ranked in the top 10? I do not. I think if you had to give me an option of which I feel more confident, I think the offense has a better chance to be in the top 10 than the defense. Now, the defense was much worse last year. I mean, when you think about the fact that they gave up the most points in the NFL, they were ranked at last in points. That's a really hard turnaround. And yes, they went out and they made a lot of big splashes. You got to get LaMarcus Joyner. And they have basically invested in the draft, but... I mean, I think we can all agree they had bigger splashes in offense than they did defense. But overall, it's a really good question. Joseph Mendoza. Who do you think will start at strong safety and at free safety? I still think it's going to be LaMarcus Joyner, and I still think it's going to be Carl Joseph. But with all that being said, let's see what it's like maybe halfway through the year. Okay, because I say that, and Gary on Conley and Carl Joseph were not good in the first half and absolutely turned it on down the stretch. Maybe we'll see something like that with some of these younger players that the Raiders went out and got. James Monogold, Raiders versus Browns, an AFC championship game. That would be fun. Uh, I love what the Browns are doing. You go out and you get, you know, you have Baker Mayfield. You go out and get Odell Beckham, pair him with his best bro and Jarvis Landry. They're doing a lot of fun things over in Cleveland. I'm excited to see what they do, and I think they're going to end up winning that division. Raiders versus Browns, AFC championship game. Hey, people are talking. Let me know who you guys want to see in the AFC title game. Raiders versus XYZ, because I imagine you guys want to see the Raiders in that game. That Hispanic boy. Oh, boy. Uh, what do you think about this? LaMarcus Joyner will play nickel corner, Jonathan Abram free safety, and Carl Joseph at strong safety. I think it's likely. I think one of the things that I absolutely love that the Raiders did in the draft and in free agency is when you get a player like LaMarcus Joyner, it allows you to be flexible. Okay, and I think Joyner's going to play both. But I also think the Raiders are going to break out some packages that maybe they, I don't want to say that we've never seen before, but they're going to confuse defenses because they're not going to know who's going to play strong safety. They're not going to know who's going to be playing free safety because Joyner and heck, even Abram, I think Abram can really bring the wood there at strong safety and at free safety. Like, he's a very talented player. And then can Joseph, if he can live up to that 2016 hype, the Raiders are going to be able to do a lot of really fun things on defense. I'm excited to see. They just got to stay healthy. Got to stay healthy. Frank from Facebook. I heard that Baltimore will be on Hard Knocks. Um, I would like to know who that source was because I do not believe the Baltimore Ravens are going to be on Hard Knocks. Uh, so, uh, sorry, buddy. Eligible Hard Knock teams. you got the San Francisco 49ers, the Lions, the Raiders, the Giants, and the Redskins. One of the ways that you can't get on Hard Knocks is by making the playoffs one out of the last two years. And the Ravens made the playoffs. So, I'm going to ask you this question, okay? Here are the eligible Hard Knock teams. Do you want the Raiders to be on Hard Knocks in 2020? Type Y for yes, and type N for no. All right, so I'm going to let these kind of curate a little bit. Now, I want the Raiders to be on Hard Knocks in 2019. Why? It would be good for my job. <laughs> it would also be really, really entertaining to watch. I want to see what they do that last year in Oakland. Now, if you said Y for yes, that you want the Raiders to be on Hard Knocks in 2020, you probably don't watch my show. You probably didn't listen to anything I said. You might be drinking way too much beer because if you said yes, then that means you don't want the Raiders to make the playoffs this season. So hopefully, if you want the Raiders to be on Hard Knocks 2020, you're typing your ends for no. Tribe 888. All right, do you think that the Raiders are going to tank this season so they can get Tua in 2020 NFL Draft? No. I, I do not think so whatsoever. I, I might be the minority here. I'm a little bit worried that Tua is actually not going to be that good of an NFL quarterback. If you're going to tank for anybody, heck, I'm tanking for Trevor. I'm tanking for Trevor in 2021. Like, I think Derek's going to be able to get it done this year. I think when you look at 
the offensive weapons that the Raiders surrounded him with. I'm confident in Derek. Hopefully, he's going to be able to get it done this year. So, do I think they're going to tank for Tua? Man, you don't make all these moves to tank for Tua. Absolutely not. All right, Robert, another super chat from you. My man, Cleveland Furl, eight sacks or more. Oh, go Golden Street? State? Gold, Golden State. Oh, basketball. Yeah, hey, I get it. All right, everyone's yelling at me. Cleveland Furl, eight sacks or more. I'm going to say no on that one. And uh, in terms of Golden State, they're the team that I picked to win. But, I mean, come on. Do we really think that anybody's going to be able to take them down? Like, I understand KD's hurt. Who's your favorite basketball team? Throw it in the comments section. Is it the Warriors? Let me know. Bobby Millette. Okay, I'm drinking water now because I am driving. I guess that's good. But also, you're watching my show while driving. To me, that scares me a little bit. But hey, die hard, dedicated. I guess you could also say you're listening to it. Sure, sure. YouTube.com slash Raiders Report. I, guys, you can watch me on, what, YouTube, Facebook. You can even listen to me on iTunes. The world's pretty crazy. All right. <laughs> so I'm drinking some beer from Anchor Brewing. And I'm thinking about, since they're so close to Oakland, when I go to a game this year, I'm going to stop in at Anchor Brewing. So if you want to grab a beer with me, okay, type HY for heck yeah, or type NF for nah fam. And if you want a good artist to listen to, since we're talking about Spotify, NF is actually one of my favorite guys to listen to on Spotify while I'm at the gym. Want to go to Anchor Brewing with me, type HY for heck yeah, or NF for nah fam. I'm drinking right now a San Francisco Juicy Indian Pale Ale. If you guys like a good beer that you can enjoy on the beach, I'm telling you right now, go check out Anchor Brewing. They hooked us up here at Raiders Report. Cheers to Raider Nation. I got a new background while I was away at Cancun. They gave me a little bit of an upgrade here, and I want to know what you guys think of this new background, so please comment below, and if you're not already subscribed to the Raiders Report, please do at youtube.com slash Raiders Report. Let's get in now to some more questions here. John Parker, Mitch, can you see Chris Waring going back to tight end? No, I don't see it happening. I mean, he's 260 pounds now. I don't think he has good enough hands to be a tight end. I think he's going to stay at running back, because also these guys have big egos, and sure, you're going to put it. Maybe if they were like, hey, Chris, either be a tight end or you're going to get cut. I just ultimately don't think that's going to happen. But, John, if you could do one big favor for me, like really big favor, besides go check out Anchor Brewing, get a picture. <laughs> John does it all. So this John does it all. The other guy, he doesn't do it at all. Do you think we could bring back Lynch midseason or a little earlier? Do I think it could happen? Sure. Anything is possible. If there's one thing I've learned from the Raiders this offseason, it is that anything is possible. Do I think it's likely to happen, though? No, uh, I don't think so. Eric, this guy's looking fly for a white guy. Why did we trade KO without replacing him on the line? I think we, were, we got rid of him to save some money. We got rid of him because they were a little bit worried about some injuries. I get that they didn't replace him, and I'm still hoping that maybe Denzel Good can step up. But ultimately, when Kelechi's at his best, he is really, really hard to replace. And if he wanted to go somewhere else, well, Kelechi, you know, I'm still going to wish you the best of luck because once a Raider, always a Raider. Blake, what's up, my man? Come to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and we'll party at Bayou Country Superfest. If anybody wants to party with me, you guys know where I'm at. IG, Twitter, at MitchellRens365. I'm always down to get... Always down to get down, and I'll be at a nice little bar here in Texas on June 1st. So if you guys are here near Irving, Texas, you guys want to grab some beers with me, just uh, let me know. I'll give you those details. Let's go to Facebook. Next question's coming in here. Will Williams have a better season with the Raiders than he did with the Chargers? So if I really think about Tyrell Williams in the year that I want him to have, I think about 2017 when he had over 1,000 receiving yards. Now, last year... He kind of got shoved aside a little bit, and it's because they ran the football a lot with Melvin Gordon. Now, they also didn't have Hunter Henry. I think Tyrell Williams is a very talented wide receiver who can really stretch the field. And it's exciting to me now that I'm seeing that these numbers are about Derek Carr, who can throw the ball deep. I think Tyrell's a good deep option. I think J.J. Nelson's a good deep option. Will he have a better season? Yes. Maybe will he put up better stats than what he did in 2017? That I'm not ultimately sold on. Mark Martinez, you know that I make fun of you every single time for your picture because you're cross-eyed. So uh, maybe we get you a new picture. It's all good, my man. You know I love it. Uh, trade a third-round pick for Lael Collins. Believe it, baby. That's just not enough. Um, I think if the Raiders wanted to actually get Collins, they would probably have to incorporate a deal with Carl Joseph. Now, I talked about that maybe like three weeks ago because I still think the Cowboys' biggest need on defense is safety. 
and maybe Carl Joseph could go down to the Cowboys. We could flip him with Leal, and then plus you're also going to have to probably throw in another pick there. So is that really what you want to do for Collins? I mean, he's great. He really is, and he's versatile, but I don't think it's going to happen. KJ Scott, get a pick. What happens if Tua turns into EJ Manuel? Now, I don't think that's going to happen. Um, I was never sold on EJ Manuel. I think Tua is at least talented. It's just what scares me with Tua is he's undersized, and he gets hurt a lot. And also, like... He had one great second half, okay, against Georgia in the national championship game. But really, besides that, is he really played well in a big game? I'll let you guys decide. Raider Nation Network! What's up? Who's starting at Y? I like Foster Moreau. Uh, I guess you're going with Y tight end here. I think that they're going to split time. I think Waller's obviously going to be on the field more when you're considering, like, passing situations. But Foster Moreau, he can at least block... But I think he actually has better hands than what people are giving him credit for. And Gruden has come out and said that he thinks that he has better hands than people give him credit for. I get it. He only had 22 catches at LSU. But a lot of times, SEC tight ends don't get the work that they should. I'm excited about what Foster Moreau could bring. Because uh, my man, Tom Downey, who's right now gone on vacation or, what, honeymoon? That's what that thing's called. I will never know. Um, he's really like Foster Moreau. So, you know what else I love? I love Bet DSI. Use my promo code Raiders120 for 120% deposit bonus. Chatsports.com slash bet. It's the best deal on the internet. Guys, like, I seriously challenge you to find a better deal out there. Why am I so confident? Because there's not one out there. Put down $100, get $120 for free. Put down $50, get $60 for free. You guys want to bet on the MLB playoffs? MLB playoffs. NBA playoffs. MLB baseball or NHL playoffs. Go to Bet DSI. Chatsports.com slash bet. Eldon, a.k.a. Turtle. Mitch, you should try Golden Road Mango Cart. I'm hoping that's a beer from Anchor Brewing, and if it is, I'm going to look it up. So, Eldon, what I want you to do is I want you to take a screenshot, okay? Tweet it at me, at MitchellRens365, or, or send it to me on IG. Same thing, MitchellRens365, which I'm sure you guys know by now. And then I'm going to send it to Anchor Brewing, see if maybe we get that beer here on the show. Cool? Cool. James... Uh, why do wear a car jersey and don't think he's going to great with AB? All right, I'm reading this right. Another deep threat in Williams, and I'll get a picture for next time. I wear the jersey because it's a nice jersey, and I think I look good in it. And also, like, just because I wear a jersey, I'm not going to be a homer. My job is to give you the best information possible and give you my personal opinion. If I was a homer, ah, I won't even go there. I was already told not to go there. David Mata. What's up, man? Uh, from Las Cruces, New Mexico. Okay. Um, shout out to you, David. What are you drinking? Throw it in the comment section. I'll be looking here after the show. Super chat me. Nice. Robert. Robert's leading the league right now in super chats. Big fan of the show. Very, very addicting. This guy, he toms. When the season starts, are you going to do play-by-play -play for those who are at work? Pretty cool if you did. Will I do play-by-play? -play? Maybe we sometimes here we do these things called watch parties. So, But that's normally only for a big-time game. Maybe for like a Monday Night Football game week one. But we'll be doing some fun stuff here at Chat Sports. But I will promise you, after almost every single game, we'll be breaking down highlights. We'll be having a good time. So I can promise every Sunday or Monday or Thursday, if they play on Thursday, I'll be at least releasing some videos. Okay, Robert? You got my word there. Actually... Unless I go to a Raiders game, then it might be tough. So, there's that. John Parker. Mitch! If you go to Oakland, check out Russian River about an hour away. Okay. Noted. Put that in my, uh, put that in my, what is this called? I was going to call it Spank Bank, but I don't think I could say that. Uh, Mitch, who do you think will be the UDFA that makes the biggest impact this year? Biggest impact this year, um, the lot. I'm trying to think. Coney? Probably Coney. So he was the player that we couldn't believe when we were doing the NFL draft that he was still on the board. And the fact that he slid all the way down the Raiders. I believe he led Notre Dame last year with 123 tackles. Don't quote me on that exact stat, but I believe he did. I would say uh, out of all of them, probably him. JoJo Mendoza crossing that line. More touches in the slot, Renfro or Nelson? I'm going to go with, oh man, I'm going to go with Renfro. I like J.J. Nelson because J.J. Nelson is more of a field stretcher, and I think he just adds that element that defense at least has to respect his speed. But the dude only had seven catches last year, and you could also argue that had a lot to do with the Cardinals offense. But I like Hunter Renfro. I think he is a Gruden grinder. You want to talk about a player who fits exactly what Gruden looks for? 
It's Hunter Renfro. The dude comes up in big time games, so I'm going to go with him. Go to Facebook now with my man Dominic. Uh, we want Kyle R. You want Kyle Rudolph. Okay, so if you guys want Kyle Rudolph, type Kyle R in the comment section. Because Dominic, I think you know what the Raiders' biggest need is on offense. I still think it's tight end. I also could argue maybe offensive guard. But if you want Kyle Rudolph, throw Kyle R in the comment section. Now, I think we got another one coming up here from YouTube. Oh, boy. Franklin83, I think your caps are on, so I'll read it like that. <sighs> I meant to say the Panthers on Hard Knocks this year. <laughs> uh, no, I don't really think that one's going to happen either. Um, from all my reports, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. I'm really hoping that the Raiders ultimately are on Hard Knocks. Steve Y, great picture. Mitch, are you heading to London for the Bears game? Fingers crossed, if anybody's in London and wants to pay for my plane ticket to go to London, I'd be all for it. But according to my sources here at Chat Sports, the people who pay my bills, um, I think I'm probably only going to be able to pick one game. And for me, I'd rather go to Cali than to London. It all it does is rain in London. Gary Gonzalez, what's up, my man? You think the Raiders' uniforms will change anytime soon like Jets and Browns did? I'm going to say no. Why did the Jets and Browns jerseys change? Because they were terrible. They were so ugly to look at. I think the Raiders by far have the nicest jerseys in the NFL. Black and silver is such a good combination. Now, I like the Saints too, but why change the Raiders jerseys? They're clean, they're awesome, and as the kids say, they're pretty lit. Jesus Lopez, my wife's B-Day is tomorrow. We have five kids. Money is tight. Help me out, brother. Raiders will make wild card for sure. And so how about this? Since money's a little bit tight, I can hook you up with some money, okay? Go to chatsports.com slash bet. Go to bet the SI. Put down some money. Hey, Seuss, shout out to your wife. Can I say that? I hope so. I wish her a very, very happy birthday. Raider Nation, what's going on? Is this the number one Raiders channel on YouTube? For Chucky Heads, believe it, baby. And if you haven't already, subscribe right here. I'm giving you Chucky Heads news, rumors, Raider Nation rumors. And look at this. I'm making your life easier. Check out my next video. Thanks for watching, and go Raiders.